I have an image up in here called tulips.jpg, which you'll find from the info folder. So the purpose of this video is to show you how we can change specific colors in an image. Uh, this is quite a challenging one because we're going to change the color of the red tulips to something else. Quite challenging because there are so many of them. Uh, how do we actually acquire them in a selection? Well, we do so with something called the magic wand. It's probably still the best tool to utilize for this, but it is far from obvious how it works. Um, I'm just going to go to Photoshop preferences and then go down to cursors first because we need to start changing the appearance of these cursors so they look a little bit more informative. Now for your brush tips I would suggest if you missed some of the initial videos um, on the Photoshop interface then I would suggest you turn on this checkbox for show crosshair and brush tip and then under other cursors which includes our selection tools make sure that is set to precise it is going to be far more useful to you in the future. And then I'll click OK. And I'm going to zoom into one of these tulips. So I'm going to go for this one just here. Again, this image only contains one layer of background. And then I'm going to go back to my tools panel and go down to it's the fourth tool down, usually now hidden by the object selection tool. And we're going to choose the magic wand. So this is a color selection tool. Perfect for this scenario. Click on that. Up at the top, make sure that the mode is set to new and then point sample quite literally refers to the pixel that you'll click on with this tool to sample the color. If you leave that set to point sample, then when you click with this tool on a pixel, it will sample that specific color. In some cases, you might be better off just increasing that range. So it takes an average of the colors around it. And in this case, a grid of three by three pixels. It's a small detail, but it can make a difference. Instead of clicking on the wrong tiny pixel color, you're more guaranteed to get the right color that you're looking for. Then we have tolerance and a series of checkboxes. I'll start with tolerance and leave that set to its default value of 32. I'm going to hover over the tulip in the center. I'm going to sample not the brightest or the darkest red in there, but somewhere in between. I'll give me the best chance of sampling all of that tulip. With a left click, you'll notice that is the selection that it gives me. And that's because I set the tolerance to 32, meaning that when I clicked on that pixel, it samples all the colors around it and it finds anything that's 32 shades lighter and darker than the colors that I clicked on with that tool. Now this is a bit of a suck it and see really. If this doesn't work, my suggestion would be double the value or half it in there to get to what you're looking for. So with that in mind, I'm going to change the tolerance now to 64 so I can increase my range of reds. Return back to the same place where I sampled from before. Click again. Notice that the sample area now has given me a larger area of reds, but it's not quite enough. It's left out those really dark portions in the uh, tulip in there. So again, I'll go back, select, deselect, change that value again, around about doubling that value. I'll return to the same place I sampled from before and then left click. This time you'll notice that it gives me almost every single one of those reds in the tulip. So that's fine, but it hasn't selected any other red tulips. And that's because we have a checkbox turned on called contiguous, which basically means that when you click in a region here, it's going to hunt out in all directions from where you click to select similar colors. But if you turn off contiguous, and if I go to select and choose deselect, now when I hover over that region again and left click, it will click and select any color in the image that matches. Now, again, you might notice that it's left out in these regions here, some of the darkest reds. My suggestion at that point is, well, you could always go to select and choose deselect and then just maybe change that to say, a little bit higher this time, not going too overboard. The maximum you can put in there is 255 as a range from not 255. So a little bit higher, but also this time I'm going to just hover over a slightly darker range of reds and left click. And again, you'll notice that it's picked up more colors inside of there. If I was going to really push this, then I could always increase that number. But for now, you know, if I'm zoomed out, it will do what we need it to do. I don't agonize too much over those really dark colors because they won't change too much. Very bright colors and very dark colors will not change too much when you alter them in terms of their hue. So here we have a good, accurate selection. Just to prove it, view, 
and then fit on screen. All of our tulips have now been selected that are red in there. So that's how we create a selection with the magic wand, which is a color selection tool. In the next video, we'll change the colors.